Well, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Crawford Family Projects. Well, I finally broke down and bought a set of batteries for my truck, but we're going to change them out. I didn't get an expensive set. I went down to Real King, and they had some for $100 a piece. Two-year warranty on a replacement, and then three years additional on prorated stuff. So I don't know how well they're going to be. It's got to be better than what I've had in it. I've had some Duralast Golds in it, and I only got three years out of them. So for $100 a piece, if I get a year, I'll be happy. So anyway, well, let's get at it and see uh, how this goes. Now, I don't have a <clears throat> battery hold downs in on this thing. The batteries are just kind of laying in there. That's gonna make it a little easier. I'm gonna go grab a wrench. Take this terminal loop. This sounds good though, so I don't want to clean the terminals real good. Anyway, I'll be back. <sighs> Boy, it's cold out here. Come on, get off the ground. Okay, let's go ahead and disconnect this other battery. This side is corroded. Oh, you guys can see that. Now, I did use on this the felt protectors and the battery grease that you're supposed to use, but it corroded anyway. So, as you said, I didn't bother buying any of that stuff. It's got a nut here, and it's got another nut on the inside right here. That's what I need to get to. <clears throat> oh, God. Maybe it might be corroded bad enough. It ain't going to work. I get down there with a wrench, but it's in pretty bad shape. I'm gonna go get her. Try the negative side. I'm gonna mix up some baking soda and water and uh, neutralize all this, clean it up with that. That's stuck on it pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna go get a pair of bike scrapes. Maybe I can get a hold of that nut. Try this. There we go. Get that off. Oh boy, I'm going to go get a bigger pair, take this on down.
There we go. Broke it loose. Really ought to change this cable end out. I don't see myself doing that. Yeah, I know. It's not a hammer. Come on. Get off there. There we go. That might be part of my problem, a little bit of corrosion. Okay. Get that one out. Now let's lift this one out. All right, guys, I'll show you what I got here. Real King. It's a 65 group series. That's what my truck takes. 72 months limited warranty. On the top, 850 cold cranking amps and then a 1,020 cranking amps. So it's definitely got the rating of what this truck requires according to the stickers. So we'll see how long they last. But for $100, that's cheaper than Walmart. So I didn't give Walmart the money. I gave Real King my money instead. So we'll try it. The only guy you got nothing to lose. It's only money, right? <laughs> okay, well, let's get these put in and see how it does. It's supposed to have a couple tie a battery tie down in there. I don't know what happened to mine. Oh, they. I don't know if I was, didn't have it when I got it. I don't remember. I had this truck for a minute, so it's hard telling. Make sure to pull all, all the goodies off. All right. Go ahead and tighten this down. Like I said, the other side's gonna be cleaned up good. I know I probably should have went ahead and uh, put the positive on, tighten it down before I put the negative on, but oh well. Just gotta be careful not to short it out. Dealing with a lot of power here, a lot of amps. Got one or two, you could weld with this if you wanted to. A lot of power in a battery. All right. Go ahead and put the other one in. Make sure I pull the plastic cap off. All right, guys, let's go mix up some baking soda and water. 
All right, let's turn the water on and get it warm. I'm just using regular baking soda. Yeah, you can buy expensive battery cleaner and stuff. They sell it, but baking soda works real good. Soda, like Coca-Cola or Pepsi or something like that, it works real good for this too. The baking soda is something that you just keep around. Most people use it for lots of stuff. So, all right, let's see if you can see this. See how it fizzes up. All right, I'm gonna go get a cup of warm water and just rinse it off now. All right, I'm gonna go find me a wire brush. All right. Let's clean. See, nice and clean. Hey, I put this battery in backwards. Make sure to put the other one in backwards. <laughs> hmm. Since it's an older truck, half inch, I'll use 13 millimeter for, for these bolts. Newer stuff, so I believe, is a 10 millimeter or an 8. Let's take using a boat connector for this. Okay, I have way out fix this wire, but let's go ahead and clean that up good too. Let's clean this one up good. Uh, 
I actually shocked me through that. That's kind of wicked. Usually 12 volt, usually DC don't shock you, but that actually did. Oh. Yes, I'm a klutz. And I will be changing this terminal out. But just not today. I don't have the parts to do it today. Yeah, I got another. That's a hot wire running to. I think it's back to my trailer. I don't remember where I'll pan. Yeah, if I had battery clamps, that's an eight millimeter. There's a little plastic wedge piece goes in there and hold Titan's battery down. I just got to give me some clamps for this thing one of these days. All right, guys. Let's see how well it cranks over. See if it helps it any. It should. Let's start her up. Wow. That made a big difference how that thing started. Holy crap. Shut it off. Well, guys, there you go. It has never cranked that good, or at least it's been a very long time since it's cranked that good. So, hopefully. That's these batteries are gonna last. They're cheap. I gave two hundred dollars for two of them, so we'll see how well they last. If I get a year out of them, I will be happy. Because anywhere else you go, you're looking at Walmart. You're looking at about one hundred and thirty to one hundred and forty a piece. Go to an automotive store like a AutoZone or something. You're looking at like two hundred. Yeah, it's insane. So we'll see how well it works. I did buy me a new battery for my Jeep, which is a 2015. That takes an AGM battery, and unfortunately, Rule King didn't carry that. It's a 94R, which is like an H7. I got that battery at an auto supply store, got it at Dustin Sons. And I'll show you, I haven't changed it yet. It's gonna be another video. But it was $256 for it. That's insane. But I got an AC Delco for it. So, it's haven't changed it out yet. Going to, but that's two hundred and fifty-six dollars. I think AutoZone wanted like three hundred for theirs. That's insane. But I will give credit though. I've got a Duralast Platinum battery in this jeep right now i put it in in uh, 2016 and it's still in there eight years old it's still cranking good i just don't want any troubles uh later on so i've got the money now i'm fixing it so i'm gonna put that battery in one of my tractors till it dies so anyway that'd be another video 
So, well, guys, I hope you enjoy this video. Just change out a couple batteries. Anyway, I will catch you on the next one.